join me on a mini adventure up towards Stickle Tarn and the Langdale Pikes. For what is the last instalment of this epic three part walking series here in the Lake District National Park. It promises to be a good one. And as always I've got my little pal Henry with me. Good morning from the Lake District. We're back in the Langdale Pikes and today we're taking on Stickle Tarn. Let's go. A little bit nervous today. They look steep. We start today's walk near Stickle Barn, where there's a large National Trust car park and those all important toilets. Whilst many venture high into the mountains in all directions from here, my goal was to at the very least make it up to Stickle Town for a spot of lunch. The route meanders alongside the waterfalls of Stickle Gill gradually making its way up to the main attraction, Stickle Town. Today's walk was also my last wearing my battered old Merrill walking boots. They've been a great companion over the years. Ooh, I can see a waterfall in the distance there. That's a whopper. I think today's walk is going to be one of them, but it's just going to be my pain face for like half the video. I'm really sorry about that. But it is a straight up climb right from the off. Hot fun. Oh, and a massive thanks to this couple who somehow spotted my microphone on the path after falling off my jacket. Phew. It's not actually that bad this walk, it's not too steep, the paths are clearly marked, in fact it's like stone steps for the most part. Yeah, I'm, I'm pleasantly uh, content with this walk so far, but ask me again in a little bit, because it might just get a little bit steeper looking ahead. Yep, it certainly did. For a change, I've actually brought my jet bile with me today. So hopefully once we get to Stickle Town, we'll get it lit up and let's have some lunch. How does that sound? I finally made it to the bigger section of the falls. Oh wow, now this is impressive. Definitely fall in love with the Langdale Valley. Spectacular views. That's one patient little dog. Today's walk snack was Wangums, but with an unexpected waterfall crossing up ahead, I definitely bit off more than I could chew on this walk. Come on, Hen. Come up. Up. I swear to God, that river crossing was one of the scariest things I've ever done. And there's people down there now struggling to get across it. It is treacherous. And I just carried a dog over it. I would not recommend it if you're not a seasoned walker, hiker, you've no experience in the mountains, at least go with a friend and have someone help you across, but that was terrifying. I did not expect that. With the scary crossing aside, thankfully we were almost at the top. Welcome to Stickle Town. What a beautiful hidden spot high in the mountains, not visible to all those down in the valley. You've got to earn views like this. Do you know, it's actually really calm. It's really peaceful up here. There's just no wind whatsoever. It is a proper little escape, this. 
the plan now is to find somewhere to sit and get the jet boil going. <sighs> wow, what a place this is. This will do nicely. I found myself the perfect spot down by the water's edge to cook up some grub. I was pretty hungry after my short slog up the mountain and what was my last day hiking in the lakes. If you've not had freeze dried food before, I'd highly recommend trying some on your longer hikes. You only need to add hot water and you're good to go. Don't forget your spork and a comfy mat to sit on. You're not having any. No, it's not for you. It's not for dogs. Five stars, something to eat, five stars. And the business is based in Preston, Lancashire, local to me. So you've got to support the local businesses, haven't you? I will be glad to test more of their food in the future. By the way, if anyone wants to sponsor me a new backpack, I tell you what, I just cannot get everything into this bag. It's been a great bag, but 32 liters is just not enough. And yeah, I'm struggling right now. <laughs> so yeah, any shops, any brands out there that want to sponsor me a larger backpack for hiking, give us a shout. After mulling whether or not to descend the same way across that scary waterfall crossing, this friendly chap told me of an alternative way down with views of another set of falls known as Dungeon Gill Falls. One last look at this amazing view. So I thought about going even higher, but in all honesty, Henry did not enjoy scrambling on those rocks near the waterfalls. And I just think we've had a great time. We've had lunch there at Stickle Tarn. And we're just gonna head down now, head down. Not the biggest walk for part three of the series, but it's a stunner. And you can make it as long or as short as you like. But for me, Stickle Tarn is the hero. That's the main attraction. It's just beautiful up here. And uh, yeah, look at that for a view. I just feel incredibly lucky being here. Yes, I love Lancashire, but come on, the lakes just can't be beaten. This place is special. I'm so glad that I've come to Langdale for a change. I'm definitely gonna be back. It's just beautiful here and uh, maybe without the dog next time because <laughs> he's just not enjoying these rocks. But I do fancy getting higher. I fancy a scramble and seeing what's up there because uh, my gosh, it's just incredible here. Incredible. It should, oh shit. Oh, look at my foot. I don't know how I missed that bog. It's about a mile now to get back to the car. There should be more waterfalls on this specific trail that I'm following. Fingers crossed, no sketchy uh, river crossings, but you never know. This is just insane. My gosh. I don't think I've taken this many photographs on a walk. In fact, the last three walks in the lakes I've taken thousands of pictures. I've got a lot of editing to do when I get back. I do hope that you've enjoyed this. I do hope you've enjoyed the short walk film from the lakes. As I've said previously, this is part three of a three part series.
The first walk was to Blee Tarn and Lingmore Fell and Side Pike. The second walk was around Elterwater and today's walk was up to Stickle Tarn. Cracking. If you have enjoyed this video or you've enjoyed all three parts of the series, do drop us a like and leave us a comment. Let me know what you think of the videos, what you've liked about them. And yeah, your feedback would be much appreciated. At the very least, it's gonna give me the confidence to get back up here again and film some more walks in the lakes. In fact, that's where I walked in part one of this series, over towards Blee Tarn. You got Side Pike there in the middle and Lingmore Fell at the top there on the left, just around here. Unbelievable walking terrain up there. So remote. I didn't see a soul up on the tops. Not a soul. Oh, and I did find Dungeon Gill Falls. Just when you think the day couldn't get any better. Wow. My legs were shot after three days of walking. Get me to that pub already. Alright mate. Oh, and shout out to fellow YouTuber High Rambles, who I bumped into on his way to do a wild camp in the Langdale Pikes. Harry actually stumbled across me soaking my knackered battered feet in the stream. <laughs> ah, my feet really needed this. Oh, and here's a proof of that pint I was telling you about. See you on the next one.